One game of the group stage down, two more to go. The New England Revolution opened the MLS's back tournament with a 1-0 win over the Montreal Impact. Designated player Gustavo Bo's powerful drive from the top of the 18-yard box lifted the Revs to victory. However, it was goalkeeper Matt Turner's diving save in the final seconds of stoppage time that locked up the win for New England. It was a great save. Uh, I don't know how many keepers will take this ball, but we know we have a keeper who can take this ball. So he showed on training, he showed in the game. So uh, yeah, we can, we can build on him and uh, I think he saved the game for us there. A familiar face is here to stay. Forward Teal Bunbury is a seven-year Revolution veteran, and after re-signing his contract on Monday, his future will remain in New England. Bunbury currently ranks eighth in all-time club scoring history with 35 total goals. Head coach Bruce Arena says that Bunbury's performance on the field speaks for itself, and he's honored he'll remain with the club. I'll be honest with you, I did not envision myself being here this long, but I'm so blessed and happy that I am here. Um, you know, I had my two beautiful girls were born in Boston, so it's special to me, and um, I never would have thought that. But uh, here we are now, about seven years later, signing for you know a few more years. So it's it's really exciting times, and uh, and I'm really proud. The Revolution add another piece to their roster as the versatile Matt Polster is signed, transferring from Scottish Premier side Rangers FC. Head coach Bruce Arena said that Polster is an athletic, talented, and technically sound player whose experience at multiple positions will strengthen the Revs' depth at central midfield and the back line. He adds a lot. Um, I think he has some experience. He can play uh, in a lot of positions, uh, which I know, you know, wholeheartedly there. Uh, he's you know right back, center mid, left back if he wants. So he's uh, he's a very good player. He's a very hard nosed player. He's going to work very hard. Uh, we're excited to have him, and I know I, I know him personally. Uh, him and his wife, I was actually at their wedding in January, so I'm happy to have him over here. Next up for the Revs, DC United. This Eastern foe is freshly off of a dramatic come from behind 2-2 draw against defending Eastern Conference champs Toronto FC. With only six minutes left of regular play, DC put away two goals after playing down a man for the entire second half. Since the Revs are the only team in Group C to get a win, they have an advantage sitting atop the group stage standings with three points. It sets us up great. Uh, that was our goal coming into the tournament. We wanted to win this first game, give ourselves a good uh, lead going into that, that second game. So we're excited for it. We, we know that we're, these games all matter for the league, so we're going to go out each game, uh, game by game. But it is a tournament still, uh, so we have to be smart and we have to, to know when to push, when to sit, uh, and when to get after them. DC midfielder Junior Moreno was sent off against Toronto after receiving two yellow cards, meaning he'll be suspended for DC's match against the Revs. However, DC still has plenty of weapons. Between Federico Higuain and Frederic Brion, who both put away late dramatic goals against Toronto, DC has shown they have resiliency. Luckily, no matter what comes their way, the Revs will put up a fight. The Revs will kick off against DC United under Friday Night Lights at 8 o'clock, with national television coverage on ESPN and ESPN Deportes, while the local radio call will be on 98.5 The Sports Hub. For now, with this week's training report presented by Empower Retirement, I'm Elizabeth Pahoda.